Hi everyone! I'm Luisa Bassin, a PhD student at Oregon State University conducting research in the field of weed science. Our research focuses on evaluating the weed control efficacy and crop safety of electrical weeders as a new known chemical tool for weed control in high bush blueberries. This project was founded by USDA, National Institute of Food and Agriculture, and the Organic Agriculture Research and Extension Initiative. Blueberries are a key crop in the Pacific Northwest agriculture, with Oregon's blueberries being the 10th most valuable commodity in the state. The demand for organic blueberries is increasing, leading to a greater need for effective and sustainable weed management strategies. This is where methods such as electric weed control offer a promising alternative. The electric weed control works by applying energy to the weeds through electrodes. The electric current travels to the plants disrupting their cell functions, causing them to dry out and die. Plant and soil factors can affect weed control. Plants with higher moisture content conduct electricity better, while plants with woody stems and thicker leaves might not conduct electricity as well. Additionally, Plants with specialized root structures, such as rhizomes, as seen in Canada thistle and yellow nutsedge, might show lower mortality. Soil water content plays a crucial role in the efficacy of weed control. We recommend using this equipment under similar soil moisture condition as tillage would be performed. Extremely wet or dry soils can reduce the efficacy of weed control. Our research has two main objectives. First, we aim to determine whether electric weeding is safe for blueberries and to evaluate the impact of the electrical weeding in the soil health. Second, we are evaluating the weed control efficacy of this method. In our studies, we use equipment specifically designed for effective weed control in agricultural crops. This equipment generates high voltage electricity from the PTO of the tractor. It features one front applicator covering four feet, which delivers controlled electric discharge via electrodes that contact the weeds. The applicator is designed with an arm that can operate at 2 to 3.5 km per hour. This equipment requires a tractor of at least 75 horsepower. We are currently investigating optimal speed of operation and the number of applications required for reliable weed control. Higher voltage results in greater plant damage, as does longer contact time. Contact time is controlled by the speed of the tractor. Our findings indicate that lower speeds with longer contact time provide better weed control in the short term. However, fast and more frequent application seems to provide better long-term control, and it's also the more economical option. We use thermal cameras to monitor the efficacy of electrical weeding. These cameras capture the heat gradient within the plants after treatment. Higher heat indicates greater tissue damage and hence greater weed mortality. Our research is promising. In the first year of this blueberry research, we found that electrical weeding did not negatively impact the growth of the blueberries and we saw no symptoms of injury. In addition, we found no measurable effects in soil health indicators after one year, suggesting that electricity has no negative impact on blueberry or soil health. In our study, electric weed control outperformed mowing and provided superior weed management. When using electrical weeders, it's important to follow safety procedures to protect yourself and others. One key safety measure is to keep a safe distance from the equipment in operation. This reduces the risk of exposure to the high voltage current generated by the equipment. During the dry season, there is a higher risk of fires when using electrical weeders on dry weeds. Electrical weeding is a promising non-chemical option for weed control in organic high bush blueberries. It provides effective weed control without harming the crop or the soil. We are continuing our research to further optimize this method for commercial use. We thank the USDA, NIFA, or IAI for funding this project and our collaborators for supporting this work. Thank you for watching our video. For more information or to contact us, please visit our eOrganic website or reach out to us directly.